I grew up learning from everyone's favorite scientist, Bill Nye. So I felt inspired this week to talk about science. Now, hold, hold up. Don't click away. I'm talking about the science of making money online. So if you have an e-commerce store and you're ready for your first sales or your first $100,000 month of sales, then this video is for you. Elle McCann, the Shopify expert. Elle McCann, the Shopify expert. L, 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 L. L McCann, the Shopify expert. I've been a certified Shopify expert for over eight years now, and I wish I could tell you that making money online was as easy as waving a magic wand and poof, you have sales. But this isn't a Harry Potter themed video and there isn't a magic trick to becoming successful. What you need, my friend, is science. Really, when you look at e-commerce success in its basic form, it's a very simple formula. You need one product people love, plus your ideal customer, and then boom, sales. Wait, that's math, not science. Hold on a second. Okay, let's say you have two beakers. Beaker number one contains your winning product or a special promotion that you are running. So this can be any type of product like a handmade item, a print on demand design, or a manufactured product like with drop shipping. The key here is that you want to make sure it is the right fit for your audience and that you have either tested it before with your audience or you've done market research and know that it will be successful. For our science experiment, let's use this fun shirt on Etsy that says science, like magic, but real. You know, we have to stick with the theme, right? From the Etsy listing, I can see that this shop is getting a lot of sales and that they have some great reviews for this shirt as well as their shop overall. You could create a design like this for whatever audience niche you're in and get it up on your e-commerce store with a print on demand company so that they do the printing and fulfillment for you. This is really helpful when you're getting started because you can pick one audience niche and test out multiple different designs for your product to really test and see what sells best. Okay, now in beaker number two, let's say that this is your ideal customer that you will target in paid advertising. Well, first you need to get really clear about who your ideal customer is, and I've said it so many times on this channel already. But if you're new here, do not skip this step. This can be the make or break moment for your online business. Because if you have a great product, but you aren't marketing it to the right audience, then you aren't gonna get any sales. You need to know exactly who your ideal customer is when you are advertising to them online. So their demographics like gender, age, career, but also much more importantly, their interests, hopes and dreams, and their problems or fears so you can better speak to them and how your product works for them. So let's go back to our science shirt. It is offered in women's sizes only, so that narrows our gender and age down some already for us. When I look at this product, I think it is probably designed for a 30 year old woman who either classifies herself as nerdy or maybe she's even a science teacher. She also probably enjoys some nerdy jokes. Oh my gosh, did I just describe myself? Well, I do like the shirt. Okay, so now that we know who our ideal customer is for this product, let's think about how we can target them with paid ads so they actually know our product exists because that is very key. You could have the best product in the world, but if your ideal customer doesn't know that it exists, you're never going to make any sales. You can send traffic to your site through a bunch of different ways, like social media, SEO, influencer marketing, and paid advertising, just to name a few. For this example, I'm gonna do it with Facebook and Instagram ads, but there are so many other platforms out there, so just think about where your audience and your ideal customer is hanging out online. If we go into our audience's area in our Facebook ads manager, we can build out this test audience there. So let's click on the create audience button, then choose saved audience from the list. We can give our audience a name so it's easy to find later on when we're building out the actual ads. And also you can see on the right side, all the parameters that we're adding in for our audience as well as we build it out and how the audience size will get smaller as we niche down. 
Now let's set the location for the United States for now because that is where we will be shipping from. Then let's change the age range from 25 to 40. Set the gender as women and add in the language as English because that is what our ads and website will be in. Okay, so now on to the targeting and why you need to know exactly who your ideal customer is because now we can add in interest and other pages they may like. So for our example shirt product, let's type in science and see some different options that we come up with. As we scroll through this list, we can add in things that could apply like their field of study or industry. We can also type in science teacher and add in some of these as well. If we scroll back up though, we can see the audience size is still really huge though. So we need to narrow it down further. So now let's click on the narrow audience button. So they also have to match the interest in this field as well. And now let's add in some more of the nerdy and humor interest they may have. We can add in Bill Nye and Neil deGrasse Tyson, who is a popular astrophysicist and always has the best ties. And now if we scroll back up, we can see our target market is more niche down, but let's take it one step further and hit narrow further again. This time though, instead of adding in more interest, we are going to add in based on their buying patterns because we don't want window shoppers. We want them to actually purchase our product. To do this, let's click on browse and then behaviors. And then from here, let's click on purchase behaviors and then engage shoppers. This means that they have clicked on a shop now button from an ad in the past week. So they have more intention to purchase because they most likely have purchased recently from another ad. So now our audience is a lot more specific, which is great. And we can save this to run an ad for our product later. I want you to keep in mind that it's better to have a more narrowed down niche audience of people who are exactly your ideal customer versus having a big broad audience of people who kind of fit your market. Because if you don't get really specific, you're going to end up wasting a lot of money with paid ads. Okay, so now we have our winning product in beaker number one, which is our science shirt and our ideal customer really dialed in with our Facebook audience in beaker number two. Okay, so if we just combine these two together, boom, sales. Yep, science is pretty cool. Plus now our beaker color is green for money. Did you see what I did there? Okay, so cheesy science experiments aside, that is really all it takes to make money online for your e-commerce store. You just need a great product, know who your ideal customer is, and have a strategy on how you're going to reach them online. This strategy is often referred to as a funnel in the marketing world, and it is a system that you can create for your e-commerce store so that you are constantly bringing in new potential customers to your store, collecting their email address so you can tell them more about your brand and your products, and then finally turning them into a paying customer and a raving fan. If you would like to see more about how to specifically create an e-commerce funnel for your online store, then I would love for you to check out a free video series on our website. We walk you through step-by-step step the whole process in just a few days on how to set this up for your store. And again, it's totally free. So you can click the link in the description below to get signed up and get instant access. Thanks so much for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.